Hey, NJ here for MyNextTablet.com. Today with a couple of tips and tricks for the S Pen stylus of the new Samsung Galaxy Tab A 8.0 2019. Alright, I've got the Samsung Galaxy Tab A 8.0 2019 in front of me and in this video we want to take a closer look at the S Pen and especially its software features. First of all, this is the S Pen. It yeah, is hidden inside the case of the tablet by pressing on it you can extract the pen and then start to use it. And we're starting with a very important software feature that is called Air Commands. When you have the S Pen out and you hover over the screen there's a little icon that starts to hover over here and once you press on it these are the Air Commands and you can start to use them and select something. So that's how you scroll through them. If you go to the plus button here you can add features to those Air Commands. Um, with the Galaxy Tab A series not too many features are there. Most of them are pre-installed here already but you can add glance, pen up and coloring. And if you want you can also add an app to it but that's basically just a shortcut. So I didn't find it too useful for the Air Commands but you can put apps there too if you want. Let's go through some of these Air Commands because they can be yeah, very useful. They are your commands for the S Pen. The first one is create a note and it does exactly what it says. You can create a note and then save it if you like. The next one is view all notes and that pretty much just opens the Samsung Notes app and yeah, then you can view all your notes, open them and edit them if you like. All right, a very useful feature of those air commands is also smart select and for that we're in the browser right now. Then we hit smart select and I'm going to select something for example this heading here. Let's select it and then I can choose pin to screen and then it gets pinned to the top of the screen and I can open other apps like Gmail and always reference that. That can be quite useful but even more useful I think is the feature called extract text that you can read here and with that basically the text is extracted. It doesn't always work perfectly but yeah sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't work that perfectly but basically the text that is extracted from, a, from an image or a website or whatever you can just copy it to your clipboard and then paste it to your emails or whatever. Um, that can be quite useful. Let me quickly show the pin to screen feature here. Yeah, that can be quite useful if you are writing an email and have to always reference something that you want to cut out. And you can see here you can just close it and it's always there and then you can close it like this. Another feature from Smart Select, we will be using it with the YouTube app here. Um, you hit Smart Select again and then you go to GIF and then basically you can make a GIF out of something that is on your screen. I think the best way to do it is with a YouTube video. So we hit play and then record and then it's recording a GIF here which is an animated picture, right? So we will just hit stop here and then this is the GIF. You can start to share it on Twitter, on Facebook or something. This is obviously not the most interesting GIF that I made now but I just wanted yeah, to demonstrate how it works. So let's close it up again. All right, the next one is called screen right and that basically takes a screenshot of the screen and then you can start to annotate it. For example, maybe I find the temperature here very interesting, then I can just write on it and yeah, do whatever, you know, different things and then you can either save it to the gallery here or directly share it with your friends. You can also cut it out more and then save it and then it's saved to your gallery and there we go. The next feature is kind of cute maybe and a bit yeah I, I probably won't use it but with this one you can do it's called live messages and you can basically um, yeah make a maybe cute message for your partner and draw a heart or a message and that's animated too. You can see it here. Basically it, it saves how you write it, animates it and then you can choose a format as a GIF again or an mp4 and then you can share it on WhatsApp or Twitter or Facebook again. Um, yeah, If you want to do that, that can be interesting for a couple of times but you probably won't do it daily. But anyway, it's there. The next feature of those air commands is pen up. That's an app. We will check that out later. The same goes for coloring which is part of pen up and yeah we'll check it out later too. But a very useful feature is called a glance and for that 
um, let's open Chrome again. And I've got a very interesting article open here. And then I think hmm, maybe I need to write down something about this article. So I hit the glance button because I can't remember everything that's written in that article, right? And then I go to the Samsung Notes apps over here and I just start to create a new note. That button is hidden down there. That's not super useful. So let's go like this. And then I start to write something with the pen. And I write, I write, I write, and then I say, hmm, what happened on the browser? Oh yeah, here, I can see what happened. So I'm glancing over it with the pen. Then I just go away with the pen and I can continue with my note. And I can glance over it again by either holding over it or by pressing on it. And then I can even use the glanced app here and then just go away again. And then you can continue with the app or with Gmail or something. So it's multitasking, but with two windows that you can switch easily in between with. And yeah, it's a nice feature. And I think this is actually one of the more useful features of um, the S Pen of what Samsung is integrating here with their One UI. All right, let's check out the Samsung Notes apps in more detail. It's pretty much a standard Notes apps where you can have different notes, obviously, and you can also sort them in several categories if you like to do that, but you don't have to. And yeah, with the Notes apps, you pretty much can view all your notes or create a new one. So you simply hit the plus button to create a new note, and then you can decide if you want to have written text, standard text with a key the keyboard, either this keyboard or with an attached keyboard or whatever that is standard text, a standard notes app, right? But you can also select the pen input over here and then you can have handwritten notes. So yeah, then you can start to do some handwriting and it's saved in that way. That is obviously one of the main highlights of this tablet that you can do that if you like. Another feature is called a brush here and that basically is a drawing app built into Samsung Notes. With that one, you can yeah do different drawings and always select different pens and um, yeah do some nice drawings if you like. You can select whatever color you like and then draw it. But I have to select it here. All right, and yeah, that's how the drawing part works. And you hit done, and then it's simply saved to your note. You can see I have the written text here my handwriting and my beautiful drawing and it's all saved inside Samsung Notes. So that's basically what Samsung Notes is. Now another very important feature of the Galaxy Tab A with S Pen is called Screen Off Memo. So basically you can start to take down a note without having to unlock the screen or do anything. For that you just press this button of the stylus of the S Pen and double tap the screen, even as you've seen when it turns off, when it is turned off. And then you can immediately start to take down some notes and save it into the Samsung Notes app without having to unlock the tablet at all. That can be very useful, for example, when you're in a meeting and you, maybe you're almost falling asleep, but then you hear something that's very interesting and then yeah, you can just quickly start to write it down. Something similar is possible when you've got an app open, for example, um, the Play Store or whatever, you press the button again and then tap on the screen and you can immediately start to take down some notes in the Samsung Notes app and just save it. Now another feature that is built into the Galaxy Tab A with S Pen is handwriting recognition. And that you can use everywhere, no matter where you want, because it's built into the standard keyboard from Samsung. For example, I'm in Twitter here and usually there's nothing I can do with handwriting in Twitter, but I can press this text plus pen button here and then I can start to do some handwriting. So let me just quickly do that. This is a test and let's see if it recognizes. Yes, it does recognize my handwriting. So it is transformed into real text and then I can just tweet it. So the send writing recognition works anywhere um, you know, throughout all of the operating system because it's just built into the keyboard from Samsung. And by the way, another feature is if you hover over a text field, there's always this little icon here 
popping up and with that you can immediately get to the handwriting recognition as well. So yeah, that is a deeply integrated feature of this tablet. All right, now let's end this video with the app PenUp that is pre-installed, same as Samsung Notes. And PenUp is basically a drawing app, but a drawing app on steroids. It offers a bit more features than your standard drawing app. First of all, it also is kind of a community at the same time. You can share your artwork and view artwork of other people. And yeah, then you can see what others are doing with this app and probably their S Pens. And a very interesting feature is, first of all, you can just start a standard drawing, but that's what you can do in a lot of apps. But a very interesting one is called Live Drawings. And with that, you can see how somebody is drawing something and then you can learn on yeah, how you draw it and you can follow along. So let's hit Learn to Draw here. And then you can see it's starting this learning this live drawing and if I want I can just follow along and I can start to do the same thing and that way maybe I'm starting to learn a bit on how you do some beautiful drawings because sadly I'm not that good with it anyway I just continue and then see what they are doing there a different color and then they do this and then I can just do the same thing but maybe I should change to a different color and Obviously, I'm not really doing it right now, but that's what you can do. It's quite interesting, right? And another interesting feature that's probably interesting for kids especially is this coloring. And it's basically an old coloring book, but obviously a digital version. So let's start the coloring here and then I can start to color in this melon or what it is. And yeah, it's basically a coloring book, but I think it can be quite, um, yeah interesting for kids especially maybe not too much for grown-ups all right and these are the best tips and tricks for the s pen stylus i think these are the most important features that you should know about if you are getting this tablet with the s pen if you have any questions feel free to write me down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'm reviewing almost every tablet that is released whenever and wherever and yeah i'm nj for mynexttablet.com Thanks for watching and see you next time.